Well, how are you all doing? Welcome to this Motion 5 tutorial. So you just saw my intro and you saw the nice camera angles all in the same scene, but different cameras. A few people have messaged me, asked me how I sort of get that um, effect. So I'm going to show you how to create that few camera, three, four camera sort of views and the transitions between those cameras. So we're going to go new motion project, 30 frames per second, and we will just use 10 seconds. We can use three cameras, three seconds each, and we'll use a second for error or for the start or for the end, whatever. Um, and then click open. Once we're over here in motion, the first thing that I'm going to do, drop the 100% preview pane and click fit to window. So it just fits to the window nicely. So we can see what we're working with. It's a little text button down here. Select 3D text. And then just type test. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this tech, this test text, but I'm going to use two words. So I want the test, the text to be the same. So let's just um, let's just edit this this version of the text. Firstly, so let's go to our attributes, 3D styles. Let's use this this glossy green. It's a nice colour and it's um, and it looks okay as well. Let's just drag the size up a little bit. We can carry on with that size, just drag it up, drag it up nice and big. And then let's go in our inspector text. So I'm in format at the moment. Just um, chose the glossy green for our 3D styles, and then I just drag the size up a little bit. So then I'm gonna go to appearance, and this is where we um, can change our 3D. Um, our 3D um, properties. I'm going to drag the depth. Let's drag the depth up to uh, around 88, and then I'm going to change the front edge to a groove, just so it looks nice when we're um, when we're edit edit editing it, and just um, just drag the weight of the groove up a little bit to 0.56, and then I'm going to right click and duplicate this test text and I am indeed gonna call this one double click and call it text and I go to my format drag the size down a little bit <laughs> a little bit more so it's just a little bit smaller than the test that's my text and just drag it below just basically so it fits into um, it fit into view. Okay, now I'm going to drag this group, select the group, and drag this up into the center, um, like so. Double click this group and just call it text. Just good practice to get into that. So we've got our our um, our text. I'm going to go to project, click this, create a camera right here. It'll ask me if I want to switch to 3D or keep as 2D. I'm indeed going to switch to 3D. Now you notice in my timeline right here, it gives me a camera for the duration of my timeline. I'm not gonna want this camera for all of the timeline. So I'll show you um, how to create in points and out points for a certain camera. We're also going to need to keyframe this camera. Um, and I am gonna show you a couple of ways as well. So there are a few ways that we can do it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ways. So first and foremost, I'm gonna click this um, little heads up display button right here or press F7 on your keyboard and now I'm not going to talk too much about the tools or the the the, the, um, the tools within the heads up display I'm just going to concentrate on the, um, the the buttons that moves the camera right so I'm going to find myself a nice start point for a nice camera view and this is quite a nice sort of look these tools the various things and just mess about them and you'll see exactly what they do um, I'm not gonna I'm not going to insult your intelligence by suggesting that you can't mess about with each of these tools um, in order to um, discover what they do so if we start from from here like maybe maybe here in this location and then we're gonna want to go from the bottom right up to the top left of the text up here. Sorry, I just clicked something else on my layers pane. Bottom right up to the top left of the text. So, 
what we want to do is remember we says we're going to use three seconds for each camera so we can drag this timeline up like so to three seconds and it's simple to do people make out like it's really hard and that you have to double click this and type in three seconds you don't you can just drag your timeline up to three seconds and release it there now that's going to be the out point from our camera so if we press O on our keyboard this is the, the the finish point for our camera and then drag our timeline back to the start and click this little record button right here that's recorded our start position for this camera right here so now we go to the end three seconds and what we do is we move the camera to where we want it to end we want it to be along here like so move out a little bit and just move this heads up display over then I can carry on dragging this you see let's go up the way this is going to be our end point so if I now uncheck this record button drag my timeline back to the start and click play our start timeline will be there oh, sorry our start keyframe and our end keyframe will be here like so so now we want to switch to another camera so I'm going to show you a different way of doing it this time out a different way of keyframing it I'm going to close this heads-up display I'm going to go to my three seconds in my timeline like so and then I'm going to click a new camera click this little button here give you a new camera you notice it gives you the camera for the whole of the timeline again so our playhead is at our three second mark I'm gonna press I on our keyboard to create an in point for our camera we're gonna to go to the six second mark so six seconds like so and press O on our keyboard to create an out point for our um, our camera I'm gonna go back to the three seconds like so back to three seconds I'm gonna go up here make sure I've got my camera one and highlighted in my layers go to properties click this little position button so it opens up the position and then click this little plus button here to create the start keyframe for our I know it says camera one but it is indeed our second camera so the first one's camera the second one's camera one the third one is camera two a little bit confusing but it's um, it's not that bad so now we want this start point so where's our start point going to be and we can simply choose so we can choose the rotation and we can rotate sort of um, our our text again like so rotate around our text like any any way we want or but we just want to start we want to find our start position of our text um, this time so we could sort of have here we could come backwards over the text and sort of come up come up the way a little bit I suppose um, so let's have our start point right here like so let's go to our out point which is at six seconds let's move it back move it back move it back and up the way slightly back a little bit more so that's our end point and if we now play through that we switch from one to the other and that's quite a nice view also so now we could go back to our six seconds in our timeline um, and we can indeed create a new camera so this is camera two press I on our keyboard to create an in point go to nine seconds in our timeline and now we could create an out point if we wanted to so just by pressing O on our keyboard but we want this to be our final camera also so we'll just leave it run to the end of the um, to the end of the, the, the playhead or of, of the of the timeline so now let's find let's go to our heads-up display do it back this way again and let's find another 
sort of camera angle that we um, that we want this to go with. This is quite nice because you can sort of come around here like so. I suppose it would be quite nice here. Yeah. Um, but we want want something something around here like this. Okay, so we click the little record button once we're happy with our start position and then um, our final position, like so, drag it up to nine seconds. I'm gonna go for something like, like this, so it displays. Just gives you a nice, yeah, like so. Deselect the record. And we'll notice we then got three nice sort of transitions. Let me just select project so you've not got any lines on the screen. Three nice transitions, although they are quite crude when they're swapping over. So in order to just to smooth um, smooth these transitions out when they are swapping over, what we're going to do is we're going to um, use our keyframe editor right down here. So show or hide keyframe editor. This is um, this is our keyframe editor. And we're going to show um, hide our timeline. And then all we're going to do is select our three cameras, highlight the top one, press shift, select the bottom one, just close this heads up display. And this displays all the keyframes for all of our cameras. So I'm going to select the top camera and select the very bottom transition for the first camera and press shift and highlight them all. I'm going to select one of these plus buttons, go interpolation and I'm going to make it um, linear so this just straightens up straightens up all of my transitions and all of the camera movements so if I open my timeline again deselect my keyframe editor go back to the start and just watch the difference in the changes of the camera and it is quite noticeable as opposed to snapping the change it's smoother, it's a much smoother change. It's not so snappy, the change is not so snappy, it's a much smoother change. And that's simply how you create various cameras and just smooth out the, um, the interpolation on the camera or the changes between each camera. So I hope this video has helped you out um, and I'll, um, I'll, I'll be back soon with more videos. Catch you later.